hello YouTube and oh I just fell into my heart here. Um and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this lovely uh Asian temple. Now uh you can make it as high as you want, but mine reached the limit, so I was actually kind of surprised. But it did, because it's weird, like it's a weird super fat world. Um but yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to make this. Um, now it's a pretty simple build, um, and it leaves a lot of stuff for what you want to do, like what's on the inside. So I'll show you uh, what the overall build looks like. So first of all, you need four by I think, oh well, yeah, nine, four by nine. Then you go take a space and do four by nine again, and um, and again and again. So yeah, that pretty much it for the shape then uh you put one layer of brown you know, i'll show you i don't want to show you the rooms yet but um, if you go up here you see there's brown so um what you pretty much have to do is you put one brown there one brown here so two browns and then one elevated so look like a porch so kind of like this top one is the best Oh uh, yeah, so then what um, you have to do is you have to do that, just repeat it until you make it as high as you want, until it goes to your roof. Um, so the roof is different from a lot of other roofs and other builds, because usually um, you can make it out of stairs or something like that, but I noticed that Asian temples actually usually have very flat roofs, like this one. So I put two, then I put two more. And two and then in the middle it's just a set of three now you can put another one here but i didn't like the way it looked now you can also put some sort of flag or something up there but um i don't recommend it it doesn't look that good oh i'll wow, actually reach my block under here so yeah that's pretty much it so let's go inside so i use these doors because I, I don't know, I thought that they fit the most. You can actually leave it blank too. It's kind of nice of that too. Um, so yeah, this is my first room. So this is where um, I, I made this like a uh, live, like they train here, the sensei maybe let's see at the top floor and then the children on the second floor. So what I did was I tried to make it like a training room and I noticed that the floors are usually white wood. So I use white wood, but you can use any wood you want. Um, now I made like a special armor that maybe cost the most, but so they put on display. And then there's a chest there. I didn't put anything in the chest, but you can put whatever you want. Um, now chain, um, and just three for training. So I didn't know where to put the lamps because if you put the lamps in the ceiling, that's the floor for the next floor. Um, so I put them in, in the corner. What you can also do is you can just put them till the end. That also looks nice, I think it may look even better um but i don't know i kept it this way like the lamps are in the corner so i also displayed um the <coughs> the weapons right here so these are the more expensive weapons um also i wanted to put some paintings but the way it's built the paintings wouldn't look good because it would have to hit the wall or something like that and that's not really nice so let's go to the second floor oh wait one more thing um if you look at the glass, it's actually white and not just glass. Um, now, I looked at a lot of Asian temples, um, and the one I liked had white glass, and I think a lot of the other ones also had white glass. So I decided to put white glass. I actually at first put black, but then I changed it. So this is the black line that I was talking about, and this is the second room. Um, so um, <coughs> these are the bunk beds, so they probably wouldn't have single beds, but like that. Um, and I put the same lamp idea here, and in this one I put paintings, but that's because it's more proportional here. Now I put cheaper wood, uh, weapons because you know they're more the sense that they don't have expensive weapons. <laughs> and then I put some stuff here, so this is where they can keep the food or something and cook it and make stuff. And I just wanted to show you the view from the porch, so yeah, they have their own view and then it goes around the whole thing. And then make a little lap. See, they can have a place there. Just like sit 
their height. <laughs> yeah. So this is pretty much the second floor. Now let's go to the last floor. So this floor just is actually the least lighted, I think, because it only has one lamp, glowstone. Um, so there's two fences, and then since I didn't cover the roof, I thought it would be nice having a big roof in the last floor. Now I put a used anvil because I you know, like to use it a lot or something. So I, I put a set of four. Um, he has an enchantment table or she, but the children don't. Um, his armor is right over here. His bed is nicer than the children's, but it's still not too crazy. He's not a king. And yeah, there's a chest where he can put his stuff, and his weapons right over here. So I also put an en uh, Ender Dragon's head here, like he killed an Ender Dragon or something like that, to make it nicer. So he also has a torch, just like the other ones. So there's two torches. And finally, it's the roof. Now, I didn't put an entrance to the roof, you can make an entrance to the roof, but I thought you probably shouldn't, because like, what would you do on the roof here? Just like, sit and look around, I guess? And that's it. So, that's pretty much my build. Now, you can do whatever you want with it. I mean, like, you can change your ideas a little bit, my ideas, I mean, and make your own. So, that'd be cool. Um, so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like and comment if you did enjoy it. Um, and thank you for watching and bye.